today I'm trying the, the really expensive one, okay, so 170,000. And then we're gonna compare to a very cheap coffee, like a 50 cent coffee on the street. Here's the menu guys, so this is the legend coffee, okay, so this is the most expensive coffee they have on the menu. And Apparently it's supposed to be the weasel coffee, which is from the, you know, the animal, it's like eating the... Coffee beans and then, you know, cooping it out and then they roast it, apparently, but I don't know if it's the real one because the real one in Indonesia is very, very expensive. For example, here they have different ones, right? So they have like, for example, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number eight as well. Number eight is pretty expensive, it's like 95,000. And they have the normal ones, they have like espresso, they have Americano, they have a latte and stuff like that. So actually they have quite a lot. They even have the uh, egg coffee, but they have Mozart as well. <laughs> Wolfgang Gamares Mozart. They have some juices as well, but I'm just gonna get the coffee right away. This one? Let's yeah, okay. Right, guys, here we have the legend coffee okay so it's dripping now I mean it looks pretty cool I have to say you know with a uh, black filter okay it says here we even are uh, mixing all the languages man uh, we haven't been a miss but we also have in English here guys so if you guys can see here it says I usually choose enough 60 coffee beans to make a cup of mocha Beethoven all right, so Beethoven, he uh, apparently was a uh, coffee drinker. But yeah, man, it looks pretty fancy if you think about it. Like you have the legend thing. They, I mean, the thing is, I just hope they actually used the expensive powder <laughs> because you actually don't really know if they actually use it or not. Here's a glass of ice. I will have to discard some of the water as well. And here is a tiny, tiny container with the condensed milk okay it's pretty good they serve it on the side because then i can choose how much i want because for example here in the south they drink pretty sweet so i usually tell them just a little bit of milk but here i can just choose myself which is great and there we go i've done this hundreds of times back in the day when i was addicted to the vietnamese coffee okay so i'm just gonna put in a little bit first okay like that maybe the color is gonna change I think the color looks pretty good all right so I, I have to try it without ice first guys just to uh, see what the taste is like without ice I mean it does taste pretty good I have to say it's like it's strong like Vietnamese coffee but it's not like extremely bitter it's actually not bitter so that's one uh, sign of the Vietnamese coffee it's pretty bitter sometimes and I really believe they use the expensive uh out actually I'm gonna do the local style here there's a lot of water there guys so we're gonna do like the locals too and just discard the excess water like that uh, let's just pour it over here like the whole thing and it's pretty important to uh, mix it up all right guys here we have the glass it tastes way better than uh, is it worth 7.25 USD I mean I think it's actually worth it. I mean, obviously it's gonna to be too expensive to drink on a daily basis. I've tried the number five here as well, and the number eight. The eight is like 95,000. And the eight, I mean, honestly, from my memory, it's like basically tastes like this. So you could try the second most expensive one, which is the number eight. I don't know how much of uh, Robusta versus Arabica they use, but normally when you have 100% Robusta, it's gonna be uh, strong and pretty bitter, okay? And that's why you compensate it with ice and condensed milk. But this one was not that bitter, actually. So I have to give it thumbs up for that. I still have a little bit left, but basically but oh, it's just too much my heart is just beating too fast now and if i'm gonna try the cheap one as well to make a comparison i have to stop here so i'm gonna show you guys around uh what they sell here as well so you can have a look uh, around here this great cafe for example here they sell the uh, filter as well it's like not too bad price like 69,000, 49,000 for that one good to buy as a gift uh, this is the number eight 
so it's like the second most uh, expensive one. This one is pretty good as well. Uh, apparently this one is the one I had. So I had the yellow one. This one here, you can buy a whole package, but it's like, it's like $100, man. So it's like pretty expensive. It's like just 225 grams, but you get a glass and you get like a book and a cup and a filter as well. So, I mean, it's cool as a gift. Um, you know, if you want to spend some money on an expensive gift, you can do that. Also here, guys, they sell uh, their different kinds of coffee. So again, you have the number eight there. You have number five. This was my go-to before, back in the day. 125,000 for that one. You have number two, 75,000, 64. So it just goes up. Uh, the higher the number, the more expensive. Also, they have the drip coffee here as well. And also they have the uh, the beans here guys so you can buy the beans and they can roast it for you right away or if you want to buy the whole beans so you can and I'm gonna give the ticket to uh, this guy Wait. Friendliness is not the uh, priority, if you uh, you can say the least, man. I want to go to the place I know for sure they sell for like twelve thousand, which is for me uh, the cheapest I've seen so far. So uh, I'm just gonna go straight and make a. Yeah, you guys can see it says uh, 12k there. I mean, let's try this street coffee, man. Chào cô, cho cháu một ly cà phê sữa đá. And that's the coffee, the pre-made coffee. Oh shit. I know this is gonna be strong, man. So she's mixing it up. She got the ice box here. She's just gonna take some ice and fill it up. Chào ngồi đây được không ạ? Được ạ. Here I am sitting on the street, very local style. A big contrast to the uh, seven dollar coffee I had, but just gonna show you guys the color as well. Color? I mean, she used. Uh, quite a lot of uh, condensed milk, but I think you have to do that when the coffee is so strong. It's like 12k. It doesn't get cheaper than this. I don't think I've ever seen uh, nowadays any place where they sell cheaper than uh, 12k. So yeah, it's a little bit chaotic here, guys. But let's just try the. It tastes almost like the powder has some chocolate in it, and I mean the taste is actually very good. So. Uh, the issue is that you don't really know what you're getting, I mean, quality-wise, because there's been many scandals uh, in Vietnam throughout the years where, uh, you know, people are getting caught, they mix stuff in the coffee, you know, like stuff you cannot even imagine, like chemicals and stuff like that to enhance the flavor. Price versus taste perspective, I would prefer this one taste-wise, but you don't know about the quality of it. Like imagine you're making a coffee and you throw in some uh, like dark chocolate or something, okay? And you mix it with a condensed milk. It's gonna taste good. This is what it tastes like. So I have to say, man, that 50 cent coffee wins, okay? But if you like coffee and you, you come to Vietnam, I, I reckon you should try at least both so you can have your own, own opinion because it's fun to try the most exclusive coffee as well it's like a kind of like an experience you can try once in your life so give it up for this lady come on okay 12 50 cent coffee i have to say it wins the competition today the comparison between the 7.25 dollar coffee and a 50 cent coffee uh, it tastes just better, but like I said, quality-wise, it's probably not as good. But the taste is more unique, I have to say. It's like way more chocolatey and stuff like that. So it's very interesting to taste it uh, 
on the same day like this. I normally don't drink this kind of coffee, actually. I normally just uh, do the uh, like Americano style, uh, Japanese uh, paper coffee, UCC mostly. So it's good to try something else, guys. But I hope you like this video. I'm gonna link the address to this lady in the description, and I'm gonna link the address to the Jungwin uh, co coffee place. Uh, I, I forgot to take my coffee with me, so. Yeah, guys, but please like the video if you liked it. Please share the video as well, and please comment as well. Because I'm sure any of you who watch uh, this video, you have probably tried or Vietnamese coffee or you've been to Vietnam as well. So please comment below what you think.